Back in the States, actor Yul Brenner died early this morning of cancer at the age of 65. Brian Doble reports. The world will remember him always as the king of Siam. The trademark bald head, the commanding presence, the strength and dignity, etc., etc., etc. He was born Taija Khan on Sakhalin Island. The actor worked in a circus at an early age and made his Broadway debut in 1946. Brenner made more than three dozen films, including The Ten Commandments and The Magnificent Seven. But he built his career playing the dictatorial but endearing king both on the stage and screen. The musical opened on Broadway on March 29, 1951 with Brenner in the starring role. He would go on to play the Sovereign of Siam a record 4,625 performances. Brenner said after reading the script for the first time, he absolutely fell in love with the role. His portrayal brought him a Tony in 1952, an Oscar in 1957, and a special Tony in June of this year when he was nearing the end of his last national tour of The King and I. On stage, Brenner struggled with the problems of his kingdom. Off stage, he struggled with a battle against cancer. Last year, Brenner said he had to make a choice, being sick in bed or playing in a theater to standing ovations every night. He said his choice was obvious. He would go on playing. He went on to another national tour and a revival in New York. His last performance came at the end of June at the Broadway Theater. Getting to know you, wrote Rogers and Hammerstein, and getting to know him, we did. Brian Doble, Headline News. Headline News continues.